thought it was all over, but I got another page of examples. Can't blind it. Right, let's keep going. They're nice. I like them. They're just time consuming. I do like a normal distribution. It's awesome. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So it says, from experience, a high jump for those. So you can clear a high to 1.7 meters uh, once in five attempts. She also knows she can clear a high to at least 1.65 meters on seven out of ten attempts. Assuming that the heights of the high jumpers can reach them, follow the normal distribution, find to three decimal places the mean and standard deviation. Right then, so let's have a look at this one. So I can go at least 1.78 meters, and that's one in five attempts. So that's a fifth, not two. And then I've got, I uh, also know we can clear a height of at least 1.65 meters. Oops, so x is greater than 1.65. 7 out of 10, so not 0.7. So there's my two bits of information. See if you can beat me, but I want to do, I want to change both of these into the z. Well, that's fine. So I've got the probability that z is greater than z is 0.2, and I want the z value for it, and I want the probability that z is greater than z is 0.7, and I want a z value for it. Right, so, find the calc. So inverse normal, uh, right hand tail, area is 0.2, gives me a z value of 0.8. Four something the other, wasn't it? Four one six. Four one six. Do this one for zero point seven. I've got minus zero point five two four four. So minus zero point five two four four. Use my z equals x minus mu over sigma, so 0.8416. The x value is 1.78 minus mu over sigma. And same for this one, z equals x minus mu over sigma. So my minus 0.5244 is 1.65 minus mu over sigma. Do some rearranging for both of these. So I've got full screen so you can see it. So take the sigma, take the mu, so I've got mu plus 0.8416 loss of sigma is 1.78. Take the mu, take the sigma, take them over the other side. And then I want to solve them. So I've done more accurate, but I'm just going to use the, the one from the, the book, book again, from the completed part. Gives me a mu value of 1.70 and a sigma value of 0.096. You'll get slightly different if you solve them. But I've created two equations and I've solved them simultaneously, which I think is really, really nice. There's one for you to have a go at. So we've got the amount of time in minutes on that. So we've got the probability a person spends less than seven minutes is 0.0, so that's that one. Spend less than nine minutes is that. So we're kind of just working them out. Oh, that's got to be it, surely. Well done if you've kept up. We'll do them in class, though. Bye.